Desert Cowboy. Desert Cowboy beats Space Time. And Desert Cowboy, Quade Crow and Trevor Rowe will win the Lightning Handicap. He's just turned 10, so we've had him for sort of five years now, and he's come up here, I think it was about a class four when he got here. Um, and he's won 15 races now, so he's pretty much part of the family. Mum spoils him a bit, I think it's, it's a, a th her third son basically. I think me and my brother get shafted when Cowboy's in work, it's, it's all about him. We really look after him and pamper him, you know, he lives in that stable all the time and he's the first horse worked of the morning, he's the first horse fed of the morning. He's just become a, in our family, a part of the family to be quite honest. You could say we spoil him a bit, but he deserves it. Not many horses win 15 races and still love their job. But yeah, especially mornings if we have to trial him or something and he has to wait to the end of the day. He gets cranky and he stands at the end of his box and he won't look at anyone until he gets work, then he gets fed, then he's happy. He's terrified of other horses. He'll walk out to the track like a, an old stager, but when he comes back off the track, it's, it's chaos. He'll, he'll jump around, shy at everything. And you know he's feeling well when he's doing that. If he, if he does everything right, something's wrong. So um, he's got plenty of character. And we keep him happy. Him and Kristen have a relationship that's crazy. Like she gets, I think he was one of the first horses she rode when she came to the stable. So um, she's been a big part of his success. And I think, you know, whatever he's happy, he's going to keep racing. Whether he pulls up after this weekend or goes another, another campaign, we're not sure, but he'll tell us when he's had enough. They just get along. He, he loves her. She comes back every now and then as has a bit of a tiff with him, but I think it's just a love-hate relationship. A lot more love than hate, but he does he does throw in a couple of cheeky moments with her, but she can laugh it off with him because she knows it's no nastiness, it's just him being, having a bit of a play. I don't know what the connection is, but they certainly get along. And um, I know people think it's silly, but if Kristen's not here and we've got to leg someone else up, he actually turns his head around and has a look and says, well, you know, what's going on here? Where's Kristen? Cowboy too strong for Trevor Rowe, running the Trevor Rowe race. Probably been riding him four, four and a half years now. So he's probably been my longest horse I've ridden since I've been here. Um, and he's just a gentleman, you know, he's just one of those horses you just trust with everything. You could get on and you know he's not going to hurt you. He's just, he's a gem. And he's more human than horse. I think if he could talk and be a human, he 100% would. After I came back from my shoulder reconstruction, he was kind of the first one we, I went back on and he's just a big confidence booster. I know he'll look after me. You see a lot of horses, they do get sour, they do get over just being in the stables, which you can understand, but he just loves it. He loves the attention, he loves the work, he just, he loves his job, he's happy to be here. And I think that's, a good reason why he's a 10 year old and he's still going around and still loving it. Give him an excellent chance. This weekend normally um, I've found that he, he goes well for female jockeys but now he's right up there in the weights and most of the female jockeys are very light so they've got to carry a lot of dead weight. So this year we decided um, for this weekend we've decided to put a heavyweight jockey on called uh, Ryan Wiggins. You know he's Australian leading provincial jockey and um, he's quite heavy so instead of carrying seven or eight kilos of lead he won't carry any lead you know so um, and I think that could be the difference. It's just very full-on like um, but it's a good atmosphere you get the crowd yelling over the fence a lot of the horses love it he especially loves it he's a crowd pleaser that's for sure um, but yeah, it's just, it's just like a normal cup meet times 10.